Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Davis Maddock of Sports Grid, and I'm wearing my green for the green jacket that somebody's going to win this weekend. Davis, what's up, man? Yeah, someone's going to win it. I have uh, I have my hopes and my dreams and my wishes locked in. You know, this this really is the Super Bowl for golf betting. You know, we have all all the tools, everything you guys need over at Daily Roto. We'll have all of you know that constant content come into you guys on Sports Grid. So just super super excited for the Masters this week. Tradition unlike any other. Very very excited for the Masters here this weekend. And what I'm even more excited about is there's no long shot here in any of your picks today. Like all of these guys are guys that actually have a legitimate chance to win. And we begin with Bryson DeChambeau because you know how badly Bryson wants this one and uh, the, the monster off the tee, why do you think he'll have success? Where, yes, of course, uh, being able to hit the ball 500 yards is is helpful at the Masters, but it's not everything. Why do you think that he'll have success here this weekend at Augusta? So the simplest way that I can explain why Bryson offers great odds to win is that he plays golf like we play daily fantasy, right? He doesn't care about finishing 10th. All he cares about is finishing first. That's all that matters. So, you know, he's taking every aggressive line. He is going to try and hit it over the water. He's going to try and set himself up for as many eagles as possible. He is pin hunting. You know, he doesn't care if, oh, if I miss this shot, it's going in the water. If I miss this shot, I'm going for double bogey. And we will see Bryson at some events, right? The the famous uh, event where he put up the 10 on the scorecard and hit it into the water twice. Like, we will see him do that. But comparing Bryson to John Rahm, Justin Thomas, Justin Johnson, all those guys at the top of the board, I think he can play just as good, if not better. But he has the most optimized style of golf to winning these events. So at 11 to 1 on the FanDuel Sportsbook, he is my pick at the uh, the very top of the board. It's a good point, right? Bryson's going to just take chance after chance after chance. And while he may uh, let you down, certainly there's a lot of golfers in the field, you know he's going to go for it, man. And, and there's something to that. Uh, Bryson just going at it and, and taking that risk. If he's successful, he's going to win this thing. And there's a lot more golfers that are just cautious, that just want to survive and hang on till Sunday. Bryce is going to take every opportunity uh, to try to push a get a lead and hold that lead. We'll see if he can do it here at Augusta this weekend. Up next for us, we talk about him every major because he's going to win one soon enough, right? It's Xander Schauffele. And we talked about Xander, like I said, literally every major because when he wins it, Davis, you need to make sure you have that ticket in. And that's why we're going to do this every single month during golf season. Why is the Masters Xander's next best chance? Yeah, so Xander is the world number six. He has won at least one tournament every year for the last five years, including multiples of, you know, top fives, top tens. He is completely, completely class, right? I I don't know anyone who doesn't like Xander who doesn't think he's great, but because this is a major championship, because it's a very strong field, FanDuel is, you know, hanging out the the 20 to 1 number there on him. And, you know, I would probably think he should be closer to 13 to 1, 14 to 1, something like that, the way that these betting markets are priced. And his game is a great fit for Augusta as well, long off the tee. Uh, he's very strong with his long irons. His short game is better over the last, you know, tw- two years, the last, you know, 50 rounds than it has been uh, in years prior. So I think it's a matter of if, not when, with Xander, you know, kind of similar to like Colin Morikawa. Like Colin Morikawa has a major, Xander doesn't yet. Xander is going to get one. And when he gets one, he will be 10 to 1, 11 to 1, 12 to 1 to win these events in the future. So want to get on this number, you know, before the good numbers go away. I think that makes sense. It's inevitable that Xander's going to win a major and it's just when it's going to happen and to continue to get it at around 20 to 1 21 to 1 whatever whatever it is now um it makes sense because as soon as he wins one you're right he's proven that he could do it he can get over the hump and that number is going to just drop in half essentially so xander here this week one of the best golfers in the world number six at the moment you're getting him at over 21 it's well worth taking a shot on here at augusta one final golfer to get to. It's another one of your favorites. Another one of the favorites, I think, across the board. That's Patrick Cantlay. Cantlay, right around this number that Xander was at as well. Uh, as we said, no long shot here for you this week. Cantlay sneaks into your top three. Always somebody that I am. So 
you make a you make a great point, Greg, which is there are no long shots on my card this week, and that's that's done for a reason. Um, you know, we're gonna bet long shots at the Valero Texas Open. We're gonna bet long shots at the Byron Nelson. We are not gonna bet long shots at the Masters, and we're not really gonna bet them at any of the major championships because when you look at who wins major championships, it's pretty much always the best guys in the game. You know, the fields are very strong, the courses are very difficult. Guys really have to be playing at their absolute peak to get there. So we have Bryson, we have Xander, and of course we had to round the card out with Cantlay, who is the world number 10 right now. Uh, Our friends over at Datagolf have him even slightly better than that. Um, If I was actually going to tell people they only want to make one bet this week, they don't really like Bryson, they don't like the number on Xander, I would have them put it in there on Cantlay. You can get a slightly better number on him on the FanDuel Sportsbook. I I saw at one point he was as low as 24-1 to there. I think it's back at... 22 to one now but can't lay basically the exact same bucket as xander incredibly strong off the tee incredibly strong with the long irons now he's not a very good putter but the way that they have augusta structured no one is going to putt well at augusta right because that those greens are so fast they're so slick it's just so hard for anyone to have a great putting performance there so i i think that kind of mitigates some of what can't lay does poorly and it really emphasizes what he does well so he is the uh he's the the davis maddock gold star you know lock of the week patrick Hanley uh at uh at augusta if you have one player you're going to bet on this week according to davis maddock it's patrick Cantley. yes sanders a good bet obviously bryson's uh one of the best in the world but the gold star whatever circle it in red highlighted in yellow the guy that you need to bet on this week according to davis is patrick Cantley. I thought it was going to be Corey Connors. I was wrong. James Maddock, we appreciate the time, man. Uh, good luck this weekend. I'm excited. As I said, I was expecting a little Corey Connors, Scotty Scheffler push. We didn't get it this week. Maybe next week. Yeah, we will definitely be playing Corey Connors and Scotty Scheffler in our DFS lineups on FanDuel. You know, no no doubt about that. But in terms of, of winning this event, we got to stick to the top of the board. And also, you know, we really need Bryson to justify – how you know confident he was coming into the event last year, right? You know he was telling everyone, "Oh, it's about a par 67 to me," and uh, you know so he's got uh, he's got some big words to back up, and I think that uh, I think he will get it done this week in Augusta. Bryson's always got big words. He's got a big stick that he hits as well. Can he back it up this weekend at the Masters, the best tournament, the Super Bowl of golf? We'll find out in just a few days' time. For Davis Maddock, I'm Greg Sussman. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.